Hello there, I'm Ian. Geocoding is about emancipating the uh, data that's imprisoned in your spreadsheets at the moment. And then bringing that into the big wide world of uh, spatial data building and, and spatial analysis. Now, getting a dot on a map sounds simple, right? But like so many things in life, it's actually not. In this course, we're going to explore the many facets to that complexity. In the um, 50 or so pages or 10,000 or so words in the course text, and we can see there's a big table of contents and, um, you know, it's broken into three parts. There's lots of diagrams. You're looking at a draft version here, which, by the way, you can download right now down there for free with my compliments, okay? Uh, but in this, it's broken into three parts. Uh, in part one, I talk about geocoding concepts. I talk about mental maps. Uh, and I also talk about um, the geocodes that are in your spreadsheets. And I talk about the geocodes that are in the GIS maps and in, in a very conceptual way. Uh, in part two, I talk about formatting the data in preparation for geocoding. So we do that both in OpenOffice Calc and I'll show you alternatively using structured query language within Quantum GIS, and you can choose whichever method you want to use. Uh, and in part three, we do the geocoding using the MMQGIS plugin. We geocode to Google Maps, we geocode to street line data, and we geocode to address point data. Now, I am not so precious as to think that every one of you is going to watch every one of my videos. Some of you will, and I'm sure you'll gain a lot from it. But others will just want to go straight to sections that um, they're interested in. And that's fine. But beware though, because geocoding doesn't always work on the first attempt, a lot of geocoding errors are not always obvious. And that is where part one comes in, right? Where I talk about the nuances of geocoding errors. Anyhow, I could go on and I go on for an hour and three quarters or, or more in the course. Please feel free to download this and study it. But I do hope you enrol because I think the videos add a whole bunch to the text. Sometimes there is nothing like seeing something demonstrated on the screen in front of you uh, and you being able to follow along both in the text and in your own version of Quantum GIS using the same data sets and of course being able to pause the videos at important moments and seeing yourself get the same results. Okay, hopefully I will see you inside. Once again, I'm Ian. Bye.